Well, hello guys. So, I have caught what could have been potentially a massive travel fail. It's still a major travel fail that I'm about to explain. It's been really bad. So I'm in Seoul, South Korea still, and sadly this is my last night in South Korea. I've had a really good time here. But I, tomorrow, have a flight to the Philippines. Yes, I'm going back to the Philippines that boards at 7 a.m. So I am currently in Hongdae, which let me uh, let me show you the map here. I'm just gonna show you how bad I failed up uh, I failed this uh, <laughs> travel day here. But so yeah, I'm I'm at Hongdae, which is where I've been staying to end out my trip. I don't know if you can see that right here, and the airport is over here, all the way over here. This is not a close distance. So the airport is in Incheon, I'm in Seoul. And basically, I would have to leave here at like 4 a.m. to get to the airport by 5 a.m. And I read online on various uh, forums like Reddit and other websites, it's very hard to get a taxi early in the morning in Seoul. And so I'm not very confident that I'm going to get a taxi here at just randomly at 4 a.m. and I have not pre-booked, I have not pre-scheduled. So basically, <clears throat> I also found that the uh, last train here for Hongdae uh, leaves at 11.48. So what I'm gonna do here is it's currently 9.37 p.m. So I've got like, call it two hours. I'm gonna get on the last train to the airport and I'm gonna stay overnight in the uh, Seoul airport because I feel like I really have no other option here to make my 7 a.m. flight to Manila. So yeah, this is gonna be very stressful. Hopefully not, but I'm pretty sure it is. And yeah, I'm gonna take you along with me. So don't do this. If you're staying in Seoul, uh, either don't book an early flight or your last night should be close to the airport. You should stay your last night in Incheon instead of in Seoul because it's very hard. Basically, uh, the part that I'm leaving out here is the subway doesn't start operating until 5.30 a.m. So I wouldn't be able to get to the airport until like 6.49 a.m. is what my app is saying. So there's no way I'd make my flight. There's like absolutely 0% chance that I'd make my flight using public transportation. There is a bus um, that goes, but that also, I don't know. I, I think I, I've seen conflicting information. Some people say the bus goes at 4.30 a.m. and you'd get there at like 5.30 a.m., but that only gives me an hour and a half to get through everything. So basically, long story short, be careful about your soul trip because this could happen to you. So. I'm gonna spend the next two hours trying to get myself uh, situated here, and then I'll take you along with me, guys. Yeah, there's just a 0% chance to be able to sleep tonight, knowing that I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get a taxi in the morning. So, yeah, here we go. So, finding my way to Hongik Station, and we'll go from there, guys. This is crazy turn of events to end out my South Korea trip, which I had a great time here. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I caught this. I usually do my like route that I'm going to take to the airport the day before or the night before. And I caught this as I was doing that where I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to get to the airport in the morning. So yeah, now I need to figure out something going on here. Now I need to figure out how to get to the metro or the subway. So yeah. I did find a guide that suggests that Incheon International Airport might not be a bad place to have this happen. So it looks like I'll be there for eight hours or seven hours or so because I'll probably get to the airport around midnight tonight. Maybe a little bit past. And I think there's an airport hotel. So if there's an airport hotel, I'm absolutely going to spend the money on that. The thing is the taxi from here to the airport might cost around $100, like $75 to $100, which is what the airport's gonna cost, the airport hotel's gonna cost, so might as well just guarantee my flight. 
and spend it at the airport. Anyway, looks like people are just finishing out their night here and I'm going to the airport. So, let's see here. Okay, I think I have to go this way. All right guys, well, let's go. It's gonna be exciting. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. It's gonna be, make the most of this instead of chancing it in the morning. Yeah, all right. No stress. This is, uh, this is the life of a full-time traveler. Sometimes you gotta pivot. So, here we are. All right, airport railroad. So, tracks. So here, can I get something to eat beforehand? Should I? Should I get something to drink or eat beforehand? I feel like I might have to. There's a GS25 over there. Might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. Because I like to fast, but we're not fasting on a day like this. You know, you're just not. So. Convenience stores here in Korea, they get you with a two plus one. So if you buy two, you get one free. So I got these uh, grape snacks, which is like my favorite snack here before I went. I ended up getting three of them. We're gonna stuff them in the bag here. And I also have a water. So should be nice and ready. Now hopefully I can get through like uh, security with these. I don't know. Last Seoul Metro tap. And I think I literally just used all of the dollars I had. I had 1250 and I think that was 1250. It was literally perfect. No money left on this. Could not have worked out better. So ah, here we go guys. Let's have fun. Let's have an exciting exploration at the Incheon International Airport overnight. It's crazy how things like work out, okay? So like when I came to Asia. One of my connecting flights got canceled when I landed. And I had to end up getting rerouted through Korea. And I ended up being in, in airports for 50 hours. And now, I'm in Korea as a tourist. And I have to spend another very long time in the airport. Last time it was like four and a half hours in Incheon International Airport. This time it will be like seven or so. But it's funny how things work out, guys. Might just crack one of these open now, guys. I don't know if I'm low energy. I was gonna fast pretty hard, actually. I was gonna do a hardcore fast. Which is why that's not what I need. I'm feeling like I need more food right now. But, anyway. I need to get through this checkpoint first here. Alright, the gate. Okay, this should be no additional fare. Perfect. And, okay, it's a little bittersweet, guys. This is my ending to South Korea, but I had a great time here. I do recommend you stay in Hongdae. It's fun. If you've never had these, you can find them in uh, term airport terminals or airports and in Korea. They're very good. Mm. They're insane. They're insanely good. If you like gummies, like I do. Oh man, I almost went to Seoul Station. You'll love these. So, quite busy here at uh, this hour. It's one of the last trains. It's uh, interesting. Hongdae is the uh, university area, so uh, people stay out late. Yeah, so, train's coming. Okay, 
So it is 11.54. I didn't get the exact last train because I wanted to just, I wanted to get it done. Well, I have to uh, put another 2,000 on here. Okay, you have to put another 2,000 on here. Let me see. Yeah, card recharge. I should be able to do it right here. Uh, please select preferred service. Recharge you card. have selected charge transportation card. Please place the transportation. Please select amount to charge. Well, this is kind of annoying. It's not like a, it's not like I'm in a rush though. Okay, put three on. Three thousand one. Okay. Charging. Please leave the card until charging is complete. Charging is complete. Okay, now hopefully I can get a refund. Ah, here it is, deposit refund machine. Oh. oh, maybe I, that's only for a single ticket. Maybe I can get a refund here. I might have just lost 3,000 won, which is about uh, $3 or something like that. No, less than that maybe. I don't know, let's see here. Okay, well, I was told. I can use this to buy food at the convenience store. So, why don't I get something? Might as well. Okay, well this is what the airport here looks like at a... Uh... Let's see what time it is, guys. Let's see what time it is. Oh, look at that. 12, midnight. I board my flight at 7, 10 a.m. Means we got seven hours and 10 minutes here. So. <sighs> Let's go. Either can't read or I can't do math, but there's only 850 on this. I don't know. So that's less than 50 cents. So we're just gonna keep it on there. So no snacks for me. Okay. Well, let's uh, get through security, I guess. I surprisingly have a lot of energy. I slammed another one of these uh, gummy things, which you should get these. These are insanely good. I always get them in the airport days because they're a treat. You can't really find them most places except in airports or like I've seen them in Japan and Korea. Well guys, would you look at what we have here? Capsule Hotel. Let's give it a shot and see what's down there. Let's see if there's a room available. And let's see what it's like. Oh wait, laundry? Oh, uh, laundry? Okay, Castle Hotel is downstairs. Hold on. Is it just me or did that? Did that not say Capsule Hotel down? Okay, so how do you go down? Hmm. Oh, up. It means up. Oh. How do... Oh, okay. So now it's saying up. Oh, maybe this way? Oh yeah, this is it. I think I saw this online. Hmm. Yeah, I saw this online. Dara Caillou. Dara Caillou. It's apparently an upscale capsule hotel. Let's see how much it costs, guys. Maybe we chill in the capsule hotel. Although I'm high energy right now. <sighs> capsule Hotel by Walker Hill, Incheon Airport. Yeah. I would like to get some sleep. I just don't know if gonna happen right now. 
Yeah, let's see. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so let's talk about it. So, room 315 here. And, oh, I have to be quiet, I have to be quiet. Okay, 315. <laughs> All right, guys, well, this cost me $42, and I get to sleep here and stay until I need to uh, get my flight. So this is a good thing, I think. So anyway, we have a, a desk to work at, and then let's climb up here. Okay, I feel like I need to be extra careful. But... Oh, shit. Dude, I almost busted my face. This ladder. Climbing up this freaking thing here. It's comfortable. It's comfortable, guys. Oh, yeah. Wow, I think I can talk in here at a normal voice. I don't know. Okay, so part of this is I get to use the showers. And the showers, like I have to go ask them to use a shower, but I'm somebody who I, f I freaking like to shower before I do anything, so. I think the plan is I'm gonna get as much sleep as I can, get up like, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll try to get four hours of sleep, and then get up and get out of here by five-ish, is what she was saying that I should probably do, and then we'll see. Hey guys, well, let me tell you, I would say for $43, that's worth it. Okay, the taxi would have been 50 plus dollars, 50 to 100 dollars, just to get here. So, it made, it made sense, I would, have had to take, I would have had to take that anyway, and there was no guarantee of me getting here. Um, on top of that, just the fact that I can roam without baggage right now is really nice. I can highly recommend that overnight stay. I think I got just enough sleep where I can make it a full day today. And I would say that's definitely worth it. Now, it is around 5.15 here. My flight boards at 7.10. Flight takes off at uh, oh, 7.50, but it boards at 7.10. I've already pre-checked in. I did the pre-check in through Korean Air, which is very efficient, so I don't have to do anything. I can skip all of the uh, check-in desks since I don't have any ba bags to uh, check in. Just two bags here. Benefit of backpacking. So, I can just go right through. Now, I wanna make sure that I'm going to the right section. But uh, yeah, that was a really nice stay. They have like, uh, their showers have like hair dryers, soaps, shampoos that you get to use. And it was super quiet very the room was very dark which i value a lot because a lot of the hotels and airbnbs i stay in they don't get really dark at night so yeah anyway i would i would sleep there a lot longer i could have slept there a lot longer so rambling at this point but let's go guys well that was very easy it is uh let's see here that was not long at all could have slept a bit more 525 eh, oh well <laughs> now when I was here before I got access to the Korean airline lounge but my uh, lounge app is saying that that's not on my 
uh, list of things. Maybe it's because that was Terminal 1. I don't know. I don't know. I was transferred last time. But the problem is all the lounges I have access to are closed right now. They don't open till 7. So, yeah. The Matina Lounge is one that I get. Oh, I think I remember. <laughs> I think I remember being here. Let's see if it's open. I don't know. I guess there's also a transit hotel up there that I could have stayed at. But I feel like I'm, I'm happy with that experience I just had. I would like to do some currency exchange. That's something I could get done here. But yeah, we'll see if that gets done. Oh, this looks awful familiar. But I guess I don't have access to any lounges here in T2 that are open. So. If this is the same place I was before, there should be a Starbucks around here. And boy, couldn't I use some Starbucks right now. <sighs> Americano would be nice. I'm pretty sure I stayed there. In that lounge. Unless my benefits changed. Like, I think I dropped from the benefits list, or maybe that's again a different terminal. This is such a cool airport. Look at this. This is the help kiosk. Look at that. That is so cool. I remember when I came here, first time leaving America, which was just in February, not too long ago, seven months ago. And I'm like, I have never seen an airport this clean. Yeah. Pretty cool. I do see a coffee place here. What I'm gonna do is find my, um, we'll just go here. This must be a, I must have got dropped off at terminal one before. I'm gonna find my gate though. Oh, I know where it is. That'll be good. So you can pick up uh, liquor and tobacco here. There's also packaged food. I wonder if they have healthy but awesome flavors, H bath. If they have H bath, I'm gonna buy some. Oh, they do. They're absolutely crazy on the prices of those almonds. Seven dollars. Yeah, and they don't have the flavor I like, so we're gonna skip that. Ah, oh, Washington DC, that's where I flew out of. That's crazy. Oh man, that's where I flew out of in February. Oh, that's wild. Uh, not Dulles, but I went to uh, the other one, JFK. Yeah, so there's my flight. Oh. This is this is extreme deja vu from February, guys. Whoa! And I smell something really good over here, and I'm gonna go see what it is. And if it's nothing, I'm gonna go get one of those coffees. All right, guys. Well, we have made it. I'm just hanging out here at my gate, 254. So, yeah, I can recommend that hotel. I also. Hope that this helps if you have uh, an overnight flight to uh, your destination here in Seoul. Definitely get here early and uh, be careful about the taxi situation because you might not be able to get one at 3 a.m. like in other places. The thing I like about Korean Air is they give you a nice meal uh, when you get on. So yeah, looking forward to that. Not going to be eating until I... Uh, get on the plane but for now got my coffee here and yeah thanks so much for being here i'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon peace